Well, good morning to you. I hope everything's okay with you. Apologies for running a um, couple of minutes late this morning. Zoom um, was steadfastly um, refusing to play ball, but we've got there in the end, which is um, which is good. Um, and well, what an exciting weekend! Um, uh, uh, not least in the world of sport, um, the, the return of Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, and the victory, of course, for Emma Raducanu, um, amazingly, in the US Open. Um, and, um, and then, of course, yesterday afternoon, um, in our Benefice cricket match, um, a victory for Staplegrove this time, um, who've reclaimed the trophy from Norton. Uh, and, and naturally, um, I um, remain uh, completely neutral in such matters. Um, but it was a good afternoon and everyone had fun and um, we're still talking to each other, which is good. Um, so what are we doing today in our morning prayer? Well, we're remembering John Christostom. Um, Bishop of Constantinople and teacher of the faith from many years ago, the fifth century, fourth century, most of his life. Um, and, um, and today is Roald Dahl Story Day. Um, so we'll be praying into that a little bit too, as well as offering Psalm 30 and hearing from Mark uh, chapter 11, 1 to 11. So plenty to be thinking about and praying about. So let's turn to our morning prayer. The Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass. We flourish as a flower of the field, for as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. The merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old and endures forever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. You, O Lord of your goodness, have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me, and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord, I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore, my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks for ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Well, 
the New Testament, Mark chapter 11, verses 1 to 11. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Bethphage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, he, that's Jesus, sent two of his disciples and said to them, go into the village ahead of you and immediately as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Just say this, the Lord needs it and will send it back here immediately. They went away and found a colt tied near a door outside in the street. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders said to them, what are you doing untying the colt? They told him what Jesus had said and they allowed them to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Then he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. When he had looked around at everything as it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. An account we often hear, of course, on um, Palm Sunday. Jesus entering uh, Jerusalem. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Let's turn to our prayers of intercession. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for the account of Jesus arriving here in Jerusalem to be received by the crowds. We know, of course, what comes next. His arrest, his suffering, his death. Lord, we thank you for Jesus, for his kingship. Lord, we thank you that Jesus is still the Lord of all creation. We thank you, Lord, that we can still put our faith in you. And we pray, Lord, that you would receive our praises as Jesus did in those days from those crowds. Lord, we thank you for the worship that was offered in our churches yesterday, both at St. John's and at All Saints. Lord, we thank you that you've fed us with your word and your sacrament. And we pray that the ways in which you have fed us will nurture us for our weeks. The ways in which we go about our lives and live out our faith in our daily routines and encounters. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we remember today Roald Dahl, on this Roald Dahl story day, when people are encouraged to share favourite stories. Oh Lord, we know the importance of stories. We know that Jesus himself was a great storyteller. We pray that you would help us to share our stories of faith <clears throat> and in doing so point to the eternal story of Jesus, your son. So, Lord, we thank you for. The ways in which you move in our lives, the stories of our own individual personal lives but also our part in the great overall story of creation. Lord, we thank you that we're part of your wonderful creation, that you, despite your infinite greatness and power and glory, despite the amazing abundance and size of creation, 
but at the same time you love us and you call us individually to make our own unique contribution so lord we thank you for that we pray for our churches and our benefits this week as we seek to discern your will for our contribution especially as we prepare for our vision day on saturday we ask lord simply that your holy spirit will guide us that we will have the humility to listen lord in your mercy hear our prayer and lord we do thank you for the joy of our messy church on saturday the joy of welcoming some 23 children 21 adults to to that afternoon thank you for the the positive atmosphere and the ways in which people well hopefully enjoyed themselves but more importantly caught a glimpse of your presence were able to hear the story of your creation and to reflect upon what it means so, Lord, we pray again that the seeds sown there will bear fruit, fruit that will last. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the world and we bring before you the nation, our government and prime minister, particularly as we await an announcement tomorrow on the um, uh, COVID toolkit for the next several months as we approach autumn and winter. And we pray uh, for your Holy Spirit to, to guide those who are making these decisions for us, that they will be wise. Lord, with decisions having been made and still to be made about booster vaccinations and uh, so on and so forth so lord we pray simply that your will be done lord in your mercy hear our prayer lord we bring before you those who are suffering at the moment not least those increasing people who are suffering from COVID directly or indirectly through with family or friends suffering. And we know that not so long ago, I heard that our hospital had no COVID patients and then uh, more recently 40. Lord, whilst we thank you for the, the vaccinations, we recognize still the challenges that lie before us. So Lord, we pray that you would grant us wisdom to be safe but also that those who are struggling can look to you for help we know that you are the great healer and so lord we lift to you those we know who are suffering lord in your mercy hear our prayer and lord as we reflect this morning on jesus entering jerusalem entering the last week of his life to make the greatest sacrifice ever made. So we reflect upon the good news of the resurrection, his victory claiming eternal life for those who believe in him. Lord, we thank you for that gift, but we recognise too the pain of sorrow uh, and loss. So we bring before you those who are mourning the loss of a loved one especially this week the friends and family of uh, charlie north whose funeral takes place tomorrow and of pat bartlett and yvonne kershaw both uh, former members of the church community at st john's who've died recently lord, we pray that you would grant them strength and peace lord in your mercy hear our prayer Father, we pray for the day that lies ahead of us, at least some of the plans that need to be made for these services and for the encounters that you will call us to today. 
Lord, we've all made our own plans in our heads, no doubt, but we recognise that your ways are higher than our ways, your thoughts deeper than our thoughts. And so, as always, we submit ourselves to your Holy Spirit and ask that you will lead us and that we can follow you faithfully and obediently. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So today, as we remember the life of John Chrysostom, let's offer our collect. God of truth and love, who gave to your servant John Chrysostom eloquence to declare your righteousness in the great congregation and courage to bear reproach for the honour of your name. Mercifully grant to those who minister your word such excellence in preaching that all people may share with them in the glory that shall be revealed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour Jesus has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So the Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, really good to have you with me, whether it's been um, live or uh, later on, as it were. I hope you have um, a really good day and look forward to catching up with you soon. Take care. <laughs>